हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल फिशरी साइंस एजुकेशन सो फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर अवर न्यू सीरीज ऑन ए आई ट्रिपल ई आई सी ए आर पी जी एग्जाम सीरीज सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट सीरीज एंड इट इज़ अ फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दैट सीरीज सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर वीडियो If you are new to this channel, then do subscribe to our channel and also you can follow us on our Instagram page and you can also join our Telegram channel. So now let's start our video. So first of all, we will see the total departments which is covered in this exam. So the total department जो जो इस exam में covered हुए हैं वो पहले हम देखते हैं तो पहला है एक्वाकल्चर देन फिशरीज रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एफ आर एम देन फिश प्रोसेसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एक्वेटिक एनिमल हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट एक्वेटिक एनवायरमेंट मैनेजमेंट देन फिश जेनेटिक एंड ब्रीडिंग देन फिश बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फिशरीज इंजीनियरिंग फिशरीज एक्सटेंशन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड स्टेटिस्टिक तो हम ये सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स को स्टडी करेंगे तो पहले हम स्टार्ट एक्वाकल्चर से करेंगे सो इन एक्वाकल्चर देर आर टोटल नाइन सब्जेक्ट्स सो फर्स्ट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एक्वाकल्चर फ्रेश वाटर एक्वाकल्चर फिश न्यूट्रिशन एंड फीड टेक्नोलॉजी फिन फिश हैचरी मैनेजमेंट शेल फिश हैचरी मैनेजमेंट देन ऑर्नामेंटल फिश प्रोडक्शन एंड कल्चर ऑफ फिश फूड ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड कोस्टल एक्वाकल्चर एंड मेरीकल्चर एंड एक्वाकल्चर इन रिजर्वर सो टोटल एट सब्जेक्ट्स आर देयर इन एक्वाकल्चर सो वी विल स्टडी ऑल ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट वन बाय वन बट इट विल बी नॉट इन दैट मच डिटेल सो बिकॉज इट इज एन एग्जाम सीरीज सो वी विल कवर इम्पॉर्टेंट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल दिस सब्जेक्ट विच इज मेनली फोकस्ड फॉर द एग्जाम पर्पज so first of all principles of aquaculture we will start with principles of aquaculture so what is aquaculture so aquaculture is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish crustaceans mollusk and aquatic plants so aquaculture kya hai to aquaculture hai farming of aquatic organisms such as fish crustacean mollusk and aquatic plants so a now current scenario so current scenario which is the 2018 so global fish production of uh, 2018 was 179 million tons then uh, among among the total fish production aquaculture contributes about 82 million tons which is approx 46 percentage and asia is dominated by 89 percentage so total uh, fish production comes from the aquacul from the asia which is 89 percentage and among that china ranks first which is 76.5 percentage and india ranks second 57.57 percentage so this is the data of our current scenario now different systems of aquaculture and categories of aquaculture so on the basis of salinity the aquaculture is the first fresh water aquaculture so in fresh water aquaculture and then brackish water aquaculture and uh, and marine water aquaculture so in first of all in fresh water aquaculture the ppt is 0 to point Point five, so zero to point five ppt in freshwater aquaculture, and uh, usually the organism present are stenohaline species such as carp. Stenohaline means the species which can to tolerate limited amount of salinity. Means it cannot tolerate very large change in salinity, but only some limited amount. It is stenohaline species such as carp, and uh, then next is brackish water farming so in brackish water farming usually the range is from 0 to 35 ppt and euroholine species are there which for example mullets etc so euroholine species means the species which can tolerate a wide range of uh, difference in salinity and uh, marine water farming and marine 
in marine water farming the so the range is 35 ppt and above and the organisms present as stenohaline species species such as sardine mackerels etc so on the basis of salinity we are uh, we have divided into three freshwater farming brackish water farming and marine water farming so freshwater farming mein kya hota hai ki iski jo salinity hai wo 0 to 0.5 ppt hogi aur organism stenohaline species hoge brackish water mein 0 to 35 ppt but organism will be eurohaline species and in marine water farming uh, salinity will be 35 ppt and above but species will be still horizon species the next is on the basis of intensity extensive for fish farming system uh, semi intensive fish farming system and intensive fish farming system so in uh, in so extensive fish farming system mein kya hota hai ki it is least managed management is very low in this extensive fish farming and usually done in large pond 1 to 5 hectare stocking density is 5000 5, fishes per hectare and no feeding or fertilization is given and harvesting uh, is uh, usually the output which we get is 500 to 2000 kgs per hectare next is semi intensive fish farming in semi intensive fish farming it is done in small ponds from 0 to 0.5 to 1 hectare and stocking density is 10000 to 15000 fish per hectare in semi intensive usually fertilization is given for for the growth of natural food but supplementary food is feeding is not done supplementary feeding is not done but natural uh, food uh, but fertilization is done to promote the natural food and uh, harvest we get is 2500 to 10000 kgs per kgs of fishes then intensive fish farming system it is well managed form of fish farming and this system involves small ponds tanks raceways with very high stocking density of 10 to 50 fish per meter cube of water so in intensive fish farming it is well managed fully managed fish farming system and uh, usually it is done on small ponds tanks etc so extensive fish farming it is it is least managed and done on large pond and no supplementary feeding or fertilization is done in semi intensive uh, fertilization is done but feeding is not done and it is done in small ponds from, from 0 0.5 to 1 hectare in area and in intensive fish farming it is well managed supplementary feed is given it is done on small ponds tanks raceways etc so for first we have seed on the basis of salinity fresh water uh, brackish water and uh, salt water and then on the basis of intensity extensive semi-intensive and intensive so next is on the basis of species stocked for farming so there are two monoculture and polyculture so in monoculture only one species is stocked in the pond or our uh, fish pond or tank but in polyculture both two more than two species is stocked for farming so next is on the basis of enclosures used for culture so be, based on enclosure first is pond culture then cage culture pen culture raceways culture so in pond culture only culture is done on pond cage culture it is done on cage and pen culture it is done on pen culture on seas and uh, on raceways it is done on raceways then on livestock integrated fish farming so in livestock integrated fish farming the fish farming is done along with the livestock for livestock so cattle fish system so in this cow with integration of fish uh, farming is done of both so in what if one hectare area is there then we need five to six cows and uh, pig fish system it is done with uh, aquaculture is done with pig and uh, in that one hectare uh, area we need 60 to 100 pigs then poultry fish system 
एक्वाकल्चर इज डन विद द पोल्ट्री और पोल्ट्री और विथ चिकन्स सो वो इन वन हेक्टर वी रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड चिक्स एंड दैट फर्टिलाइजर ऑफ एंड दैट एक्सक्रीटा ऑफ चिक्स आर यूजली वेरी रिच इन फॉस्फोरस एंड नाइट्रोजन एंड दैन डक फिश सिस्टम एक्वाकल्चर इज डन विद द डक सो वन हेक्टर एरिया वी नीड हंड्रेड टू थ्री थाउजेंड डक्स दैन गोट फिश सिस्टम एक्वाकल्चर इज डन विद गोट्स एंड रेबिड फिश सिस्टम एक्वाकल्चर इज डन विद रेबिड इन गोट एंड रेबिड सिस्टम यूजली इट इज नॉट दैट मच पॉपुलर सो इट इज डन ऑन स्मॉल स्केल स्केल बेसिस on the basis of different farm integration rice fish integration so aquaculture is done with rice aquaculture rice ke sath ho rice farming ke sath hoga horticulture fish system so uh, aquaculture hoga wo horticulture ke sath hoga matlab vegetables and uh, different types of vegetables and flowers will be grown along with the aquaculture and uh, mushroom fish system so along with aquaculture mushroom culture will be also done mushroom ka culture bhi hoga aquaculture ke sath then uh, seri fish system so in this uh, aquaculture will be with the uh, culture of silkworm silkworm ka jo culture hoga uske sath aquaculture bhi hoga okay so thank you this was it for our today's video in the next part of our video we will upload uh, the continuation of uh, this so till that please stay tuned with us and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed and also at last i want to ask one question so which is the most eco friendly and what sustainable fish farming system on the basis of intensity extensive fish farming semi intensive or intensive which it can be you can comment it down on the comment box answer it on our comment section we will be waiting for your answer so this was the end of our video thank you happy learning